Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metal market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 17, 2021. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we are basically just bouncing off the 20 exponential. So we did have this massive fall um, last week and uh, we have been rallying for the last uh, three trading days. So we're just about the 20 exponential and it looks like that is as far as this will go at this current stage. We are most likely going to grind higher towards the 200 moving average or these previous highs here at 92.48. And this will, of course, be quite negative for most commodities and precious metals. If this breaks below the 20, we have the 50 moving average down here at 1972 and break below that, that opens the door to these very lows. But at this moment, it looks like we are gradually grinding higher. Technical indicators are also turning um, bullish and uh, that should point momentum to the upside. So let's look at oil. So oil has uh, finally stopped. We had this major move to the upside way outside of the bull in Japan, broke down, rallied yet again, and then we broke down yet again. So the top of the bull in Japan is uh, very resistant and uh, the 20 exponential is basically as far as this will go, as that is what the previous trend has shown us. Well, we have bounced here, 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 and yet again here. So if the 20 exp exponential breaks, then we'll have a run all the way down to the very bottom uh, at the 58.46. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around and becoming bearish at this point. But gradual grind to the middle of the bullish band will most likely be bought into as they have been for the last few months. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has yet again found support at the 200 moving average. We saw it back here when we gapped down and then hit the 200 moving average. Then we rallied and now we have basically fallen apart from all the way to the top here after the 3.09 all the way down to the 200 moving average. And now we have yet again rallied. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. So this does not mean that we'll have a second rally like we saw here. It only means that we may rally towards the 200, not, not the 200, but the 20 exponential moving average or the 50 before breaking down again. We did rally up towards the 20 moving average here and then we fell apart. And that's most likely what's also going to happen here. We're going into the months where it will become warmer, less demand for natural gas. And this usually means that this um, goes into a downtrend. So we have these spikes um, in uh, the colder uh, periods of the year, and then it basically falls apart. So this is usual for this market, but 20 200 moving average is still holding a break below that. Well, that could open the door for much lower levels. So let's look at copper. So copper. Uh, fell towards the 20 exponential and found support there. And you see the market just opened and we have a green candlestick here. Technical indicators for copper are still very bearish. So if we break below the 20 exponential, that could open the door to the uh, bottom of the bullet pen at 3.9 or the 50 moving average right here at 3.8. Rally from here, we need to take out these previous highs in order to get the top of the bullet band at 4.2. So let's look at gold. So gold has run into resistance yet again at the 20 exponential. So we have rallied up towards the 20 several times in the past and we have been rejected every single time. And it looks like we have been rejected yet again uh, in, in today's session and now we're open in basically red. Technical indicators, they are still fairly bullish. So we have had this bullish run, so that's not really strange. But we could see this market turn around here and head to much lower levels. Break about the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 50 at 1800. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar thing, usually follows gold. We have also rallied up towards the 20 and the 50 moving average, and then we have been rejected there. And now we are looking, it looks like we are going to roll over here and head back to $25, or probably the 200 moving average down here at $24.5. Technical indicators are fairly flat at this point. So break above the 50 moving average, that opens the door 
to around $27, $28 for silver. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has rallied about the middle of the Bollinger Band and then gave most of those gains uh, back. And technical indicators are fairly bullish. We are going to have a crossing of the signal line here in the MACD, and that's a bullish indication for for platinum. So we could see this rally towards the top of the Bollinger Band uh, in the next coming days at 12 197 break below the 20 exponential over the door to the 50 and the bottom of the bullish band 11 14. so let's look at pallium which had a major move today we're still we're still in the same pattern so we can get rid of this bullish band so uh, we can draw this up so we're trading in the highs of the of 2.5 give or take we do cross it sometimes and then just get rejected really heavily like here and here and here and also here so isn't it is basically an area where this has rallied to and has been rejected and now it looks like we are again started we started the market again with red and we'll most likely drop back towards the 20 exponential or 2.4 before before going all the way to the bottom that's how this has been behaving in the past it's just been trading sideways the 200 moving average is um is offering quite a lot of support and um, yes that is basically it for this technical indicators they are all turning around to the downside even though not all turned down the downside but they are turning around the rsi is turning around cci is turning around stochastic is bullish and the macd is bullish at this point so let's look at aluminium So you can see that we did rally to the previous highs here and then we broke down today quite aggressively. It looks like we're going to head back to the 20 exponential at the 2137. Um, if that breaks, then we can open that opens the door to the 50 at 2060. Taking indicators are slowly turning around. So it is probably as far as this will go at this point before we most likely have a pullback before going higher. So let's look at nickel. So nickel uh, had this massive fall um, and then found support just above the 200 moving average. Since then, we have been trading sideways. 20 exponential is moving this direction. And at some point, we are going to run into the 20. And that will, of course, say whether or not we are going to break to the upside or to the downside. We could see a rally up towards the 20, but there's just no movement in this market at this current stage the technical indicators are fairly flat and we're just moving sideways break below the 200 moving average opens the door to 15,000 and 14,000 and even lower than that so let's look at sugar so as you can see we did rally today above the 20 exponential and the 50 and then we basically got rejected so now we're trading underneath the 50 yet again and uh well, at this point, technical indicators are all pointing to higher levels. So if we manage to get a green counting above the 20 exponential, that could open the door to 0 0.1750 and then beyond that. So at this point, it is holding on. If we break below these previous lows, that opens the door to 0 0.15. So let's look at cotton. Well, we did rally. There didn't was not a lot of movement today. Um, we did uh, test the 20 exponential, got rejected, and now we're trading it between the 20 and the 50 uh, moving average. So technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this point. So we are in a slight downtrend or a pullback, to, and the 50 is offering quite a lot of of uh, support so if we test the 50 again 50 uh, yet again it will most likely rebounce from there if we manage to get a green candlestick above the 20 exponential that opens the door to 0 0.9 and then to these very highs so let's look at cocoa so cocoa is uh, still just in the middle of nowhere we are at the highs here at the 2.8 lows here at 2.2 and then the middle here at 2.6 2.3 give or take and now we're just we've just been all over the place for the last a few months so this is a um this is something that i've just stay away from because it's just a complete gamble it can go it can rally one day it can just break down there's no real uh, trend here it's just all over the place so 
I'll just stay away from this. So let's look at wheat. So we did break down towards these previous lows. So there is quite a lot of resistance down here. So you can see it right there. So we can see how often we tested this price level and have basically bounced from it. And we have a major bounce also today. Technical indicators, they are turning around. So if we manage to take out the 20 and the 50, then we could head back towards these previous highs of 685. If we get rejected by the uh, 20 exponential, then we could have a retest of this area here. So if this area breaks, this could drop all the way down to 600 and uh, even lower than that to the 200 moving average. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, good luck. Thank you.